The Wicked, Wicked Polar Bear by Eliza Abdullah Hello, this is Richard and I'm here with another winner in our Wicked Uncle writing competition sponsored by wickeduncle.co.uk the online toy company. This story is from Canada and it blows hot and cold. This is what Eliza wrote to us. Hi, my name is Eliza Abdullah. I am from Ontario, Canada. I saw this competition on your website and wanted to participate. Here is my Wicked Uncle story. It was an extremely hot summer day. Jeremy and Jemima had been sitting in front of fans all day. Mum was sitting on the sofa downstairs with her head thrown back and a bag of frozen peas on her forehead. Dad, very sluggishly, came through the front door. He took off his blazer and turned the AC down to 16 degrees. You would not believe what happened on the way home, Dad said angrily. No, what happened? Mum asked, although she didn't really want to know. The air conditioning in the car broke down and started heating the car instead, Dad explained. That's terrible, Mum commented. Dad sat down on the sofa beside her. As soon as he did, the phone rang. Mum picked it up. It was Uncle Jeff. As soon as he said hello, Mum had to hold it away from her ear because he was so loud. Hello, Jeff, she replied reluctantly. How would you guys and the kids like to go on a trip with Jessica and I? He asked excitedly. Jeff, I'm not sure we'd have the energy to go on a trip right now. It's so warm here. And besides, we just went to Ibiza for your brother's 50th birthday, Mum said. Oh, but that trip was only to one of my villas. How would you like to go to the Arctic? One of my friends in business has a mansion there. And since it is so hot right now... It would be the perfect way to cool down. Come on, just a little relaxation and a break from all the noise in the city, Uncle Jeff said, in hopes to persuade her. Mum firmly said no. But when Jeremy and Jemima came downstairs, miserably she gave in. Two weeks later, the family was ready for their trip and could not have waited any longer. It was still extremely hot, and they were all counting down the minutes to when they would land. When they reached the airport, Jessica and Jeff were waiting for them. When the plane landed, they were all extremely excited. But when they got out of the airport, they were greeted by a huge gust of freezing cold wind. Well, Uncle Jeff chuckled, it's better than being burning hot. Jeff's friend was waiting for them, holding a sign that read Jeff and Family in messy handwriting. As soon as they saw each other, Jeff and his friend exchanged jolly hugs and very briefly caught up with each other. As soon as they were finished, Uncle Jeff turned and said, Everyone, this is my friend Ian. Hello, everyone, Ian said. Dad quickly thanked him and they all piled into his car and headed to the mansion. The mansion was a smaller version of what Jeremy and Jemima thought of as an ice castle. Wow! They both said in unison. Jeremy and Jemima had their own room. Mum and Dad had one, and two more for Jessica and Uncle Jeff. Just as they finished unpacking, Ian told them that he had a surprise for them. All of them hopped into the car and drove off. When Ian parked, Jeremy asked, Mr. Ian, where are we? We're at a hiking centre, Jeremy. We're just here to pick up some hiking gear and a map. As soon as I get all that, all of us are going on a very scenic trail through a few snowy mountains. That's awesome, Jeremy said. Uncle Jeff and Dad helped Ian get all the gear back into the car. They drove to a mountain range and parked. There was a tour guide who gave them some information about the trails. 
Then they embarked on a very long walk. Jemima was silently complaining in her head the entire time as they walked uphill. Her legs were getting very tired. So were Mum and Dad's. When they reached the top of the mountain, all of them were very quick to sit down in the snow. Suddenly, Jemima started to say something, but she couldn't get it out. Mummy, what, what's that? She pointed into the distance, and everyone turned their heads and saw what she was pointing to. It was a polar bear! Ian told them in a very shaken voice to stay calm and not to run. But Jessica couldn't take it anymore. She bolted down the mountain, and the bear started to chase after her. All of them started to run as well, because it was no use at that point. In the next two minutes, it became very cold. The wind was nipping at their noses and freezing their ears. Just when the whole group thought they would absolutely freeze, the parking lot came into view. With one final push, they all made it to the car. As soon as Ian parked the car in the driveway, all of them jumped out as quickly as possible and hurried inside. I will never ever again complain about it being too hot, Dad said. That was the worst walk I've ever been on, Jemima spat. I think we've all had enough adventure for two vacations, Mum concluded. She was very mad at Uncle Jeff, because he had convinced her to go on this trip in the first place. All of them agreed. With that, the entire family, plus Jessica, flew back home the very next day. When Jeremy and Jemima came back home, they were expecting a nice, warm house. But as they came through the front door, it was freezing cold. It turned out Dad had forgotten to turn off the air conditioning. And that was The Wicked, Wicked Polar Bear by Eliza Abdullah. Well done, Eliza. The Wicked Uncle meeting a polar bear. Bertie says that you would never have thought of an idea like that but it really fits his personality. We also like the idea that the family were really, really hot and bothered and went somewhere really, really chilly to cool down, but perhaps a bit too much. I'll be back soon with the grand winner of our writing competition, who will receive a £50 voucher from wickeduncle.co.uk. For now, from me, Richard, goodbye.